Today's episode is really about giving you information so that you can make the determination whether or not you even want to take BPC-157 or another peptide. And of course, to really seriously consider the sourcing issue that we talked about earlier. Now, what would be a reason to avoid taking BPC-157? Well, the first relates to something that many people take BPC-157 for because they believe it's good for them. And in some cases, potentially could be, which is that in addition to increasing fibroblast migration and angiogenesis, blood vessel development within a site of injury, BPC-157 is known to have a small, but nonetheless meaningful impact on upregulating growth hormone receptors. Now, this can be a good thing if you're trying to upregulate growth hormone receptors at a given injury site so that growth hormone, which comes from the pituitary, and we'll talk a bit about more later, then can have a heightened level of action at that tissue and growth hormone is involved in tissue turnover and repair. Uh, this is evident from childhood where kids heal from wounds much faster than uh, adults heal from wounds. There's other reasons why kids heal from wounds more quickly than adults that relate to things like stuff for secrete from the thymus, et cetera. We'll talk about that as well. But this idea of increasing growth hormone receptors at the site of injury or around the site of injury by injecting BPC-157 locally to the injury or even taking it systemically is one thing that many people think of as advantageous and that's why they want to take BPC-157. However, for some people, perhaps people who have a tumor in a given area, an increase in growth hormone receptors in and around the tumor could potentially increase the growth of the tumor. And that's one of the major issues with BPC-157 that's not often discussed, which is that if you have a tumor and tumors thrive on increased blood flow because they like to consume growth factors and increased blood flow means increased growth factors and other things that can not just sustain, but actually grow the tumor. Well, then by taking BPC-157, you may be either maintaining or accelerating the growth of a tumor that would otherwise be removed or stay small. In other words, BPC-157 is a potential tumor growth risk.